Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can make your own medal or medallion with a custom shape in the middle um, as and a hole so you could put it through on a lanyard. So we're going to make something like this today. You could do it with your own shape and your own design, but I'm going to just show you the steps on how to do that today. All right, let's get started. So the first step is uh, when you're in Tinkercad, you're going to create a new design. And your most metals are going to be round. So you're going to use the round cylinder shape here, the orange one, and just bring that over to your work plane. Uh, you have to figure out the size. So based on my ruler here, I always use the centimeter section because everything in um, Tinkercad is millimeters. So I want it to be between six and seven centimeters big. So I'm going to choose 65 millimeters. So these numbers are always in millimeters. So I'm going to ch change this to 60, oops, 65. And then um, click on the other side and 65 and enter. Uh, you can also hit this little arrow up here so to hide it. You don't need to see all the details. The thickness of the shape, um, you don't want it to be th too thick or too thin. So I don't want my a medallion, my metal to be more than one centimeter, which is only about that big, um, smaller than a dime. So I'm going to make sure this is set to 10. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, set it to 10. Uh, you could either use this or you could just type in 10 if you're not great at uh, doing the numbers. And what I'm going to do for mine is you could do it two ways. You could either put your shape kind of sticking out from this solid piece, or I want it to have a circle and then have the, mid the middle kind of set back a little, and then I'm going to put my shape in the middle section around a border. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of my circle. So you could just click on it once so you see the squares, and you're going to hit Control-C and then Control-V, and that makes a copy of it. And what I'm going to do for my copy is I'm going to make the copy smaller. So I'm going to make this 60 by 60. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the center of this. Okay. But I'm going to lift it up a little. So notice uh, it's they're both like on the, the, the floor of the work plane right now. So on this second one, I'm going to use this little cone at the top. That's like the elevator. And I'm going to just raise it up like three. So it says three here and three there. This one is how many millimeters off the floor it is. And this is just how, how tall it is, how much I just moved it. Um, and what I'm going to do, it's going to look a little silly right now, but I'm going to move it kind of overlapping like that. So it almost looks like kind of like a cake or a pie. Um, but what I'm going to do is on that top one is I'm going to change it so it is a hole. And see this guy up here with the, the stripes through it, like these guys over here? That means it's a hole. And it doesn't really look like a hole right now, but you'll see it in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure the hole's right dead in the center. So to do that, I'm going to draw a, map, a box around both shapes, and that selects both parts. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to align them. And up here on the toolbar, you'll see this little guy right here. I'm sorry, this little guy right here is a line. And uh, it'll give you all these like uh, little circles everywhere. So I'm going to say align this way and align that way. And that puts it right dead in the center all the way around. I'm going to make sure they're both selected again. And then I'm going to also group them. Group is right here. And what it does, you can see here, it makes it into a nice shape like that. So now I have, it looks like a pie tin <laughs> or a cake pan, Miss Pavlik. Um, so that you can put something in the middle. And I'm going to put a shape of R2-D2 in the middle of mine. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go to a new tab. And uh, I'm going to go to Google Images. And I'm going to search for R2-D2 like I've done on this page. And I just don't want any picture of R2-D2. I want uh, something that is going to look really good on this. So the way to do that is if you hit Tools, we're going to first select type here, and we're going to say clip art only. So I want drawn pictures of R2-D2 only. 
But I also also want to change the color so it says black. I want it to be black and white only. So I'm going to look for a good kind of simple picture of R2-D2 um, that looks pretty like good and will fit my needs for this project. And like you see, there's a good one of BB-8. Um, so this looks like to be the one I want. Looks nice and square. So I'm going to right click on it and say uh, save image as. And that's going to save it to my downloads folder on my computer. I'm going to make sure to name it what it is. So I'm going to call it R2D2. I'm going to call it DW for black and white. And save. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to a specific website. This website is called onlineconvert.com. I will send the link to Ms. Pavlik and she can share it with you guys. Um, for this website is kind of cool. It has all these conversion tools. Well, the one we're going to go to is called Image Converter. And under the Image Converter, they have a lot of different types of images con to convert to. We're going to choose the one that says Convert to SVG. SVG is a format um, called Scalable Vector Graphics that will allow that basically will allow you to save it as a three dimensional object. And and on full disclosure, this website has a lot of ads and stuff. That's how they pay for it. That's why we don't have to pay to use it. Um, but it's kind of annoying. So uh, try to ignore all the shenanigans on the page. What you're going to look for is that it says convert image to the SVG format up here. And then you're going to look for the screen box. And what we're going to do is we're just going to choose file. So we're going to look for that picture of our 2D2 that you just saved and say open. It'll upload it to the website, and then down here is all these settings. So unless you are expert at 3D printing, don't worry about any of these changing any of these settings. We're just going to put in a name for it, and I'm going to call it R2D2BW1, uh, and say start conversion. It'll take a second, and then you'll see it show up over here that it's ready, it's converted, and now I can download it. Don't do any of these other ones. You just want to download it. And I'm going to call mine um, R2D2 black and white. And I'm going to say done. I know it's my done version. You can see it's down here. So now I could go back to my 3D printing page on Tinkercad. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to import. I'm going to import that shape and hit choose file. And it should be this R2D2 black and white done. And I'm going to hit open. There it is. It's as my SVG version. And I'm going to, I'm not going to make any changes. I'm just going to hit import. It will be a little big on the page, but that's okay. We could resize it. So I'm going to just click on it and I'm going to just drag it kind of to resize it. And then I'm going to move it kind of to the center of my metal. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of Get it the right size if I need to. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And then to get it perfectly in the center, I'm going to select everything, draw a box, select everything. And then I'm going to align it in the middle here, just like I did before. And it's right in the center. So I think that looks beautiful. It looks great. And it it's almost the same size as the outside ridge. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do, because this is metal and hopefully you're going to put it on the lanyard, is you're going to put a hole. You want a hole somewhere here to put the uh, fabric through. So what you're going to do is you're going to use a cylinder, but a, a cylinder with a hole. So I always use the, get the striped cylinder. And you're going to resize it. I would make it about uh, five by five. Okay, and it should look like a striped straw, and you're going to just drag it, kind of put it in the middle there, and then I always look at it from above, and make sure it's kind of, and he, here's a tip, you can use the arrow keys to move things around a little bit at a time, and get it in the right spot. Now, you want to push it all the way through, so what you could do on this one is click it, and then click the cone so it pushes down. And if you look at it from the side, you should see it from the bottom. That's what you want. And then one last time, you're going to select everything and group it. 
and there it is. It's wall one piece. There's my shape. And then this is something I could now print. So before you send things over to me for printing, what you want to do always is click on the crazy name. Tinkercad gives it to you. And you're going to put your name first. You're going to put what it is. R2D2 metal. Spelling doesn't really matter. I could figure it out. And then um, what you, we usually do is once you have it saved, it saves automatically. You're just going to hit export as a STL, and it saves it to your downloads folder on your computer. And then from there, you could email it to me or, or a Miss Pavlik could put it on a USB pen and say, uh, get it on there. And so I could print it on the 3D printer. Okay. If you have any questions about this project or anything else about 3D printing, feel free to ask me at any time. Happy metal making.